On the road again, and we pull into our local Ionity charging station with six 350 kilowatt chargers. And for the first time ever, it's full. All six chargers fully occupied and charging. Now, if this happens to you and you simply reprogram your sat nav for the next suitable charger, you might be doing it wrong. Dave takes it on, explains our carefully considered alternative that might just save you time more often than you might think. I was out with my eldest lad, Jonas, who assists with the filming and prepares the thumbnails and titles and description for me. And we had a busy half day scheduled. Finding the charging station full completely threw our plans into disarray. The weather was good and we needed to get some specific filming done, which needed 350 kilowatt chargers. These are few and far between. So we decided to go into the nearby McDonald's, have a quick snack and a coffee while we rewrote our entire day's schedule. We still had quite a good state of charge, as I never leave it to the last minute, unless of course that is the purpose of the video, or I'm heading home or to a free destination charger, and in those cases I can happily run down the state of charge down to just 2 or 3%, uh, 4, 5, 6 miles. Once in a while it does the battery no harm at all, and heading home my charger is 13.6 pence per kilowatt hour, and I've never found cheaper at a paid charger although I do also use free destination chargers quite extensively. Well, the coffee was good, we replanned, and less than 15 minutes after we arrived, we went back to the car and found, well, charger was almost totally empty. Just one car still connected. We were surprised. We just had to put all plans on hold and film this for this short video. Now we chat away while we're filming, and we were both surprised at how quickly it had emptied. Uh, just then a pole star arrived and began charging two full out of six. As we chatted, we realised that if we arrive and find this one is full, it's quite likely that the next one we divert to could also be full. Maybe at this time of day they're all busy, and we would have no more luck at the next one. Maybe the answer is to always do exactly what we did. Chill, grab a coffee, relax, head back to the car. Had it still been full, we would have carried on our, out our new plan. But it was empty, so we scrapped the replan, filmed the transformation, and then went back to the original plan. Nothing lost. Any idea where we are? Let's play Where's Wally. There are clues throughout the video, so it should not be impossible, and some of you might even charge here and recognise it. Have a guess. Watch out for those clues, enter your answers below in the comments, and don't cheat and read the others. By the way, we're currently preparing a new series of short videos, each giving a quick but comprehensive overview of what you should expect to find when you get to any one of each network's charging stations. It's aimed mainly at new EV owners, but some of us veterans could probably learn something new. The first network is Tesla, and that video should be ready by the end of next weekend. Please subscribe so you don't miss it. Well, back to business. I rarely arrive at to find the charging station completely full, and I do a lot of miles. And when I do, particularly at superchargers, which are not as common as public chargers, and there is a really fast turnover, I've been inclined to just wait my turn. At others, where there are plenty of different chargers really close, I tend to just head to one of them. On balance, we decided that if you find a full charging station, as long as you have enough state of charge, and as long as there isn't a big queue, and as long as the network doesn't provide real-time, accurate occupancy rates, ones that are actually live and true at all of its chargers, the best course of action is simply to chill out, give it a chance for a good few minutes before ditching your plans and moving on. We'll monitor how this goes over the next few months and film our results. I'm Dave.